It's 1876 in Deadwood, Dakota Territories, what is now South Dakota. It's a town of played out miners, bounty hunters, upstairs girls, and various other entrepreneurs and miscreants. In this town fueled by liquor, sex, and violence, you're in the real Wild West. Today we're making Cocktails of Deadwood, popularized by the TV show on HBO and soon to be a returning feature film. But to be clear, there was one type of juice that this town really ran on. A whiskey? Whiskeys. Two whiskeys. Whiskey. Whiskeys. You want to drink a whiskey? Whiskey. But around this time, gin and bitters would have actually been a popular cocktail, as featured in the Deadwood book by Pete Dexter. This drink also goes by the name Pink Gin, as it was fashionable in England in the mid-19th century, and it typically consisted of a few dashes of Angostura bitters and some gin. So what type of gin should we use? Well, they could have used anything from a London Dry to a Geneva or Holland-style gin, but back in England, they typically used Plymouth gin, so that's what we're gonna use here today. This drink is monumentally simple, as you might expect from a saloon in the 19th century. It's really just gonna be about two ounces or 60 mils of our gin, and then we're gonna hit that with three dashes of Angostura bitters. So then we're gonna give this a stir with ice for about 45 seconds to chill and dilute it. We'll use that time to talk a bit about the history of this drink. So pink gin is widely thought to have been created by members of the Royal Navy. And so gin was actually added to the bitters to make the consumption of these medicinal bitters more palatable. Who knows if that's true? Let's just see if it's any good. Now, normally this drink would be served in a traditional cocktail glass. It just doesn't feel right for Deadwood though. So we're gonna swap that out for your classic old fashioned glass. And I guess it has a slight pink hue to it, though to me it looks just a lot more like whiskey. All right, let's see how it is. But uh, first, does that look pink to you guys? I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind. But um, this is actually really nice. By diluting the gin and cooling it, you actually really open up those juniper flavors a lot. And the Angostura adds a nice little spice to it. By using a slightly sweeter gin, this is really just a classic gin cocktail. I'm into it. All right, next up we have a proper mixed drink. This one is called the Yellow Daisy, invented by a man named Richard Clark, who was a United States frontiersman that spent most of his life in Deadwood. This drink was actually featured in the famous Savoy cocktail book, and it starts with one ounce or 30 mils of dry vermouth, one half ounce or 15 mils of Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur, then we need one ounce or 30 mils of gin. And here we're again using Plymouth. Finally, we need just a few drops of absinthe. Then with your gunslinging hand, grab a bar spoon and stir this with ice for about 45 seconds. And next with your card dealing hand, grab the drink and pour it into this classic coupe glass because you're a fancy man and you deserve it. Cheers. And you know what, this is a really nice drink. It goes down really easy. The gin, the dry vermouth, a little bit of that anise flavor with the absinthe, and just a touch of sweetness with the Grand Marnier. It's surprisingly balanced. I like this a lot. And before we go, I was watching old episodes of Deadwood and wondering what kind of whiskey they were actually drinking. And spotted here in season two, episode two, we finally got a label, the Old Weller. And guys, I was really excited to be sponsored by Bespoke Post for this video. This box they sent me is seriously awesome. But in a nutshell, Bespoke Post is a subscription club for guys to help them mix drinks, travel in style, deck out their pad, and more with a unique set of products and some great advice in each box. And I just had to get this torch box, which comes with a professional culinary torch and some hickory and oak wood planks. This is honestly the easiest way to smoke cocktails, simply by torching the wood plank, placing the glass on top, letting the smoke fill the glass, and that smoky flavor is gonna stick around when you pour in your nice whiskey, and it is fantastic. Each box is gonna be packed with unique and high quality items at a great price, and they're actually giving you guys 20% off if you sign up using the coupon code 20 chem and you can skip or swap a box or cancel anytime. And also, if you're looking for any of the recipes or equipment I use on any of my videos, I post them all over on my website at cocktailchemistrylab.com. Cheers.